going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Today, we're looking at a really limited edition sneaker that comes with an amazing cause behind it from the city of Chicago and Jordan brand. So without further ado, let's get straight into the shoe. I wasn't really able to get my size in this one, so this one's a little bigger, but I should be able to fit it into the frame here. But we're looking at a size 14 today. I'm usually a size nine and I don't think I'll be able to fit these. Now, before we get into the shoe, you guys just saw that it comes in the white and gold limited edition Jordan brand box. And it also came with this little card inside of it as well. So today we're talking about the Wings campaign with Jordan Brand that says everybody can fly. Now, of course, this is reminiscent of Michael Jordan's iconic photograph with his arms fully extended. We like to call it the Wings photo. On the back of the card here, it talks a little bit more about what makes these shoes so special and the school that they're working with in Chicago in order to make this project come to life. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Air Jordan 5 Wings in a size 14. <laughs> You guys may be wondering why I got a size 14 in the first place. It literally was the last size that was available. I really, really like this shoe and I thought that I would probably be able to size swap somebody or size swap a store that maybe had it one day straight up. So I just went ahead and grabbed the last size that was available, which happened to be the 14. Now you guys will notice that the silhouette in and of itself is the same Air Jordan 5 silhouette. Nothing has really changed about the body of the sneaker itself, but there's a lot of details in here. The most noticeable, of course, is gonna be the upper that looks like it has a whole bunch of different drawings on it. Now here's a cool thing about this shoe. This shoe was done in collaboration with Little Black Pearl, which is a nonprofit based in the Chicago area that actually teaches children with artistic capabilities and, and a lot of artistic talent how to monetize that talent and how to capitalize off of it. The motto of Little Black Pearl is the business of art, and that's exactly what they try to teach the youth that may not know any better in Chicago. I think it's a great initiative to make sure that the kids know that the things that they're doing deserves to be paid for. Now you'll notice Notice on the upper of the shoe wrapped all the way around the lateral and medial side, all of these different drawings are drawings that the kids from the school actually did themselves. And each drawing has something to do with the city of Chicago. This is probably one of my favorite drawings right here that says Chi-Town on it. Now, what you'll also notice about this shoe is that both of the shoes are different. They have different drawings on them in different places. You can really tell on the back as well. Of course, two different drawings in two different places on both of the shoes. One thing that's really cool about the shoes is that no two two shoes are alike and no two pairs are exactly the same either. Each of them has different drawings on them in different places. Going a little deeper into the shoe, you have the red stitched Jumpman right there on the heel. You also have this really nice fully 3M tongue with that black Jumpman in the middle. On the back of the tongue, the tag says wings, everybody can fly. Each pair comes with two sets of extra laces. It comes with these nice green ones and it also comes with the black pair as well. Now, of course, those green laces go into the color blocking of the rest of the shoe. You have that nice white midsole with with that hit of that green there on the bottom. You also have that same color green in the airbags and the heel of the shoe as well, which I like a lot. The tongue of the shoe is that classic Jordan 5 mesh netting, but you see it's kind of got this greenish color here in the middle. And on the lateral and medial side of the shoe, instead of the classic mesh netting, you actually have these wings here that are in plastic. Those wings also match the lace locks here at the top on the tongue that also look like wings as well. On the outsole of the shoe, you have that classic Jordan against the white with the translucent and heel and forefront of the foot with the black jump man in there. Now the really cool thing about the lateral and medial side where the wings are and where this lace lock is is that they actually glow in the dark. You can probably see it a lot better now that the lights are all off but as you can see that glow action is going on on the lateral and medial side of the shoe and on the tongue. And that's pretty much it. Tell me what you guys think about the Air Jordan 5 wings. Were you able to pick up a pair of these because these were really, really tough to get? I don't really know of any retailers that even got them. I think these might have exclusively been dropped on the sneakers app. I'm not quite sure, but that's where I was able to pick them up from. So if you were able to pick up a pair, have you been actually wearing these or have you not been wearing them? I've been seeing a couple of people talking about the fact that they don't really want to wear them because they've got a bunch of little kids drawings on them and I don't know, if I'm able to get my size in them, I think I'll go ahead and give them a spin. But you guys can sound off down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. If you are not subscribed yet, be sure to go ahead and hit the little red button right down there so that you're not missing out on more heat like these here. And as always, I wanna thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish, taking a look at these with me. I go by the name of Kari. These are the Jordan 5 Wings. And until next time, I'm out.